Let's see. Yeah, so I, you know, I graduated from Hunter College uh, in 2003 as a painter, but I didn't show any paintings. <laughs> the key thing was going to the Atlantic Center for the Arts residency in 2003, uh, which I happened to be there with Vic Muniz. And I, there I started developing some stop motion animation using imagery, cut paper. I think I, I think I've always been in, interested in some way in the environment and in plants. Initially, I think an interest in the movement of plants was based on the fact that they animate themselves. They're also, you know, you know, moving at a speed we cannot see, and so, and essentially, time lapse photography is like is the same principle as stop motion. I also have been working with uh, some themes of Charles Darwin. Um, in 1880, he wrote a book called *The Power of Movement in Plants*, which, uh, in which he outlines how he his experiments charting the movement of plants. And I've been working with this theme for about a year or so now. I came here with a bunch of uh, plots of um, charts that I've made of um, opium poppies um, and when there were tiny seedlings moving. Uh, and I've been making drawings out of um, using those plottings that are made from an ink I developed out of uh, opium poppy seedlings. But the next step is that I've set up a more complex version of uh, Darwin's experiment um, that allows me to chart the movement of certain plants from multiple angles, and then they'll be I'll make a series of overlay drawings uh, of their movement. So they're kind of they'll be very two dimensional, but they'll have some sense of a um, a modern three dimensional um, feel to them in a in in a pseudo scientific way. I was looking for texts um, by Darwin to be read that would relate to to the project and you know I looked at origin of species and that sort of thing and then uh, but then I discovered yes he, he'd, he'd written this book you know focusing very much on what I was interested in uh, with the way plants might interact with each other or uh, respond to various stimuli and how they might move but then I have you know in certain installations uh, in New York and in Copenhagen had plants growing during the course of a show um, and that's why it's very specifically um, you know a part of that growth becomes very much a part of the piece and a part of the um, a part of the work.